incredible, it's disturbing, it's shocking. Peter Moskos is a former Baltimore City police officer, now an assistant professor at New York's John Jay College of Criminal Justice and author of the award-winning book, Cop in the Hood. Once the unit gets a bad reputation, it you know, chases a, basically good officers don't want to be anywhere anywhere near it and uh, bad officers get, get attracted to it like, like a moth to flame. He's been closely following the police corruption trial. What's important is to point out is, yeah, this is not just one or two rogue officers. This was a criminal unit that was, if not actively protected, at least, you know, supervisors were turning a, a willful blind eye to this. There were red flags galore. You need supervision that prevents this type of corruption. Um, the idea that you're protecting this unit because they're giving you the stats you want is wrong. Moscow says that pressure on police to produce numbers breeds corruption. And given what's been learned in the trial, Baltimore has more house cleaning to go. Along with looking into the department, um, we really need to look up into the city leadership. We haven't reached the limit of this, but it goes beyond simply the Baltimore Police Department. Moscos also told me that most personally alarming to him was the testimony regarding those drop guns. He said that documented evidence of those being used by police officers is extremely rare, and this will certainly hurt the reputation of law enforcement now nationwide for years to come. Live downtown, Adam May, WBAL-TV 11 News.